Hello, my name is Joe Iwanaga. I have been a research fellow in Seattle Science Foundation last, since last March. And this was the, my first project in Seattle Science Foundation. Today, uh, I'd like to talk about the novel treatment for keratitis sick anatomical feasibility study of auricular temporal nerve. Chronic dry eye affects up to 30% of the population aged 50 years and older than, and the, can result in visual dysfunction. Corneal dis desiccation with the resultant blindness if left untreated. And this dis description about summer disease. Do you know what, is, what this disease is? often occurs after resection of the parotid gland resection uh, tumors. Yeah, exactly. This is a Fry's syndrome. When Fry's syndrome patients chew or bite, and patients sweat around the uh, pre-auricular region or temporal region. This is the cause of the resection of the parotid branch of the auricular temporal nerve, or more proximal part of the auricular temporal nerve. And we, we make a pattern shift from mechanism of disease to treatment. So uh, this is a... Uh, schematic images of the auricular temporal nerve, and uh, this is a superficial temporal branch of the auricular temporal nerve, and uh, this is a parotid branch, and this is a parotid gland. So uh, if the parotid branch cut and reverted to the superficial temporal branch, and the superficial temporal branch uh, is uh, re um, rotated to the lacrimal gland, this potentially can treat the dry eye or keratitis sicker. So let's make a quick review of the auricular temporal nerve. What is the auricular temporal nerve? This is one of the branches of the third division of the trigeminal nerve. And the auricular temporal nerve has many peripheral branches. The uh, auricular temporal nerve has the, these six branches. This is very difficult to uh, memorize. So uh, this, these are looks like the ex branch of external carotid artery for medical student or dental student. So this picture shows the infratemporal fossa. This shows the foramen ovale. This is a lingual nerve this uh, inferior alveolar nerve. This small branch uh, given from the inferior alveolar nerve is the nerve to the mild hyoid. This is the auricular temporal nerve. This is the left side of the mandibular bone. And the, most of the mandibular ramus has been removed, so we can see in the infrared temporal fossa. And the pterygo mandibular, uh, sorry, and medial pterygo muscle and the lateral pterygo muscle has also removed it in this picture. So today, uh, we just uh, focused on these two branches. This uh, green portion showed the uh, skin innervation of the auricular temporal nerve. So uh, start from the parotid branch. This parotid branch is a very proximal part of the superficial part of the auricular temporal nerves. This uh, horizontal reference line is between the LL and the, between the LL and the middle of the tragus, this line. And the vertical line is uh, yeah, perpendicular to the line H. So the distance from the tragus, horizontal distance and the vertical distance from tragus to the a branching point of the parotid branch was measured. So these are the mean distance from the tragus to the par uh, parotid branch. 
This is a branch of uh, superficial temper branch. The reference line is the same as the pouted branch. So these are the average distance from the triangles to the uh, branching point of the superficial temper branch. So this is the variation of the superficial temper branches. In most of the textbooks, their uh, superficial temper branch is described as the, uh, like the, similar to this picture. But the, look at the, this picture. The, one of the branches of the superficial temper branch form the, like anza. And uh, this picture shows the two anza in the superficial temper branches. So there are many variations of the superficial temper branches. So um, based on these studies, uh, we will ap uh, apply to the treatment for keratitis sicker. And this is a fresh cadaver. Uh, skin incision is made to the periauricular region and the elevator uh, skin. And this is a very small, but this is a palated branch. This is a superficial temper branch, main trunk. So this parotid branch is uh, cut and uh, rotated to the super main trunk of the superficial temper branches. And after that, main trunk uh, was cut, is cut and then uh, rotated to the lacrimal gland. So an uh, autonomic nerve from the parotid branch can go into the main trunk and the inner potentially can innervate to the lacrimal gland. And this is the, this was the, our study about the uh, application to treatment for keratitis sicker. Thank you.